Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Wasi from Flameline Visual Effects. Today, we are creating a very exciting tutorial. Today, we are creating a particle logo effects. So, let's see what we will create today. Wow. Awesome. Okay, so let's get started. Before I start, I like to tell you, please subscribe my channel. Please, please hit this red button if you want more tutorials. Okay, now jump into After Effects and let's get started. First, create a new composition. Uh, go to composition, new composition, and rename it to logo animation. And set it uh, 12 by 720p and frame rate 25 and duration 10 seconds. Then click on OK. Now import your logo. So go to project window and right click import file. Then select your logo and click on import. Then drag it into the comp and press S on your keyboard and set it 55. Then right click pre-compose and uh, set it leave all the attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok again right click pre-compose set it leave all the attributes and click on ok uh, now make it 3d layer and double click on it and select the logo layer and then select uh, rectangle tool and create a shape then go forward few seconds and set a keyframe on max path then go forward oh, sorry go backward few seconds and move it forward and max feather set it 70 then go to logo animation then go to your project window and select the uh, logo comp and drag it into the comp press s and make it 55 then select the layer and go to effect transition and select linear whip transition completion set it 100 whip angle set it minus 90 degree then go forward few seconds and create a keyframe on transition completion then go backward few seconds and set it and make it uh, zero feather Set it uh, 65. Now uh, right click new solid, rename it to particular, then hit OK. Now go to effect, trap code, particular, then go to emitter emitter type set it layer and uh, layer emitter then uh, layer set it logo comp one and uh, layer sampling set it particle bath time and velocity set it uh, 200 and particles per second uh, set it to lakh then go to particle uh, particle life per second set it uh, 1.4 life random set it 100 feather set it 0 and size set it 3 size randomness uh, set it 100 
and uh, opacity random make it 40 and size over life uh, choose the second preset and uh, opposite over life choose the second preset then uh, go to shading and shadow let for main turn on and shadow let for ox turn on and then go to shadow let setting and uh, opacity set it uh, 2 and adjust size set it 120 and adjust distance uh, set it maybe 80 then go to physics then gravity set it minus 40 then go to air air resistance set it uh, 1 and uh, go to turbulence field and effect position set it 150 and fade in time set it 0.1 and uh, scale set it uh, 18 or make it 17 and then go to render motion blur and turn on motion blur press 0 to ramp view then create another composition uh, so go to composition new composition and rename it to final then hit ok now go to project window and select logo animation comp and drag it into the final comp then we are create a background so right click new solid then rename it to optical flare OF then hit ok and drag it down and select the layer and go to effect video copilot and optical flare then click on option then clear all then choose this lens flare then hit ok color uh, set it little bit reddish then go to project window and right click import file uh, choose project file and select all files and import then select smoke one file and drag it into the comp then go to effect stylize and select glow and glow threshold set it uh, 80 then go to project window and select smoke two layer and drag it into the comp and uh, select smoke two layer and then right click and transform and flip horizontal and select smoke two layer and go to effect uh, stylize and select glow and glow threshold make it 71 okay now again go to project window and select particles layer then drag it into the comp and go to effect color correction and select tint then go to effect color correction and select curves then select the particles layer then change the layer mode to add
now create a solid layer so right click new solid and make it black and click on ok then select ellipse tool and double click on it then uh, set it to subtract and press F on your keyboard and make it 200 then create another solid right click new solid make it black and hit ok then select rectangle tool and create a mask and set it subtract okay now select the logo animation comp and press S and make it uh, 95 or sorry make it 90 then set a keyframe on scale then go for a few seconds and make it 110 then we are create a adjustment layer so right click new uh, adjustment layer drag it down then go to effect color correction and select tint and amount of amount to tint set it uh, 15 and then select adjustment layer then go to effect uh, color correction then select curves now again effect color correction and select levels then select all the layers and right click and pre-compose and rename it to main and hit ok Press 0 to ramp preview. Wow, pretty nice. Then select the main comp and press T. Set a keyframe on opacity and make it zero. Then go forward few seconds and set it to 100. Then go forward few seconds and set another keyframe. Then set it to zero. Now create a adjustment layer. So right click new adjustment layer. Then go to effect blur and sharpen then choose sharpen and sharpen amount set it 40 then go to effect color correction and choose curve okay now press 0 to ramp preview
hope you guys you enjoyed uh, please like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you have a great day